up everybody to another Coding Cleverly video. Today's video is gonna be about array stacks. We're gonna build array stacks from the ground up. And this is gonna be an abstract data type video. So the previous videos where I covered stacks, that was in STL and that's a standard template library. So that is pretty easy. You just have to include a file, header file and then everything is so simple. But in this array stacks, we're gonna be actually creating an array stack using an array. So what's where we're going to use a linked list to create and that's going to be called a link stack but we're going to be using an array and that's another way so and that's going to be called an array stack so let's get started including your header file is the main step as the first step so hash include io stream you can include your namespace standard here and then we could just have a main function here and then we could have the return zero which is right here what we want to do here is we have to create something over here. So the thing that I could create on top of this, so before the namespace standard, is some kind of, let's say, default stuff. So we're creating an array, right? Array is a portion of memory reserved for storing a large amount of memory or in, in contiguous memory locations. And those memory locations are generally adjacent to each other. So they're like side by side in the computer memory. So to define something like I have to have some kind of size, a particular size for the array. So we just say hash define. And what we could do is we could say a size. And I could just say as 100 or 199. But I'm going to use a size as 5. Pretty simple. Then let's just create an array. So I'm just going to create an array, globally defined array. And then we could just put the size inside of this. And then we could actually have a top. Now, a top is also in a stack. So um, brief concept of a stack is actually, it's like a pile of something. So when we want to push stuff inside, meaning add stuff, they're going to go on top of each other. And if we want to pop stuff or delete stuff, we're going to have to delete from the top. So it's like a first in, so it's a uh, last in first out method. So last in meaning LIFO, last in, and then meaning the top one, and then the first out, meaning the one that's on the top. So if we want to show, look at the top, that's really important. So let's just create it by default as one, minus one. So we know that top is going to be minus one, and that indicates that the stack is empty, all right? Stack is empty using the minus one. So after that, let's just go after the uh, using namespace standard. We're going to create some member functions. The member functions, what we're going to be defining is some of these functions. So one is what we're going to be calling is empty. So empty is sh generally going to show if the stack is empty or not. Now, minus one will indicate if it's empty. And if the top is not minus one, it will indicate that it's some there's something inside. So we could just create some is empty function. So we could say Boolean. So that is the return type. And let's say is empty. So E is E M P T Y. And we could don't we don't need to put anything inside. And we'll just have the condition. So if so we could say if the top, right? So if the top is equal to minus one. So if the top is equal to minus one, we could have we could have returning a true. Else we could have returning a false. So that's basically our is empty function. Right after this function, we could define another one. And that's called a push function. Now push's job is to add stuff to the stack. So push could have a return type of actually void because it's not gonna give anything. So void push and it has a value inside so we could just insert a value in here so value and then what we could do here with the push is basically have something inside of pushed inside so we could have but we have to check one condition in because the size is five right so if it exceeds five we can no longer push anything inside of it we might have to delete the stack we're making a limited stack here because it's array based and once it's array it's limited but when once you go into the linked stack that is not limited you could do as much as you want that's one of the uh, restrictions of a of an array stack so if like let's contain let's have a re uh, condition that the, we know that the top is minus one right so if the top somehow because it's going to increase our top is right now minus one right our top is 
minus 1. But when we have to add something, the top will change to 0. So this is going to be in the 0th index. And that is uh, really important because the computer start with 0. So 0 is a significant value. And then after that, when we want to add another thing, it's 1. When we want to add another thing, it's 2. When we want to add another thing, it's 3. When we want to add another thing, it's 4. Now you can see that 4. But once it reaches 5, that is full. That's the last element. It can't go higher than that. So if we say size, so over here, S-I-Z-E, minus 1. This means that if, for instance, if the the, uh, the top, meaning um, whatever the value is, but in this case it's right now minus 1, if that equals to the size, which is 5 minus 1, uh, which is 4 over here, then what do you do? Well, you could just indicate that the stack is full. So we could just say stack is full. And once we say stack is full, this means we can't add anything inside of the stack. So the condition could be coming when it's like 0, and then it's uh, one, so you already know how many portions are we here. Zero, one, two, three, four. So let's just delete this portion right here. And what I could add here is, so if that is the condition, we could just ignore that. Else we could just do, else we could just add in the stack. So we could say top plus plus. And this means that we're incrementing in the top. And what we could do, array sub top. So and then we could assign that to the value. So top here is gonna be minus one, and then it's gonna be incremented to zero. So into that zero, with array sub zero, so we're in the array sub zero, we're gonna assign the value, which is the value what we gave, so let's say 10. So once we did that, top is good, top could increment, now it's, now it's zero the whole time because it's globally defined. Then we could add it as one, uh, which is second, and then we could add a two, which is third, fourth and then we have fifth so this is the fifth one and then after that it's constrained so so over here which is top is equal to four and then we have this other one which is four as well this could cause problems here so we could have like oh, over here which is four so it's going to be incremented to four and then after that we could insert the value but you could see that uh the top is going to be at the next step that top is four and the size is four, so it's just gonna say the stack is full. Okay, so right after this, let's have another function defined. So let me just delete this and just go over here because this is a part of that. Okay, so next function, what we're gonna be defining a pop. Let's do a pop first. So, so the pop function is gonna delete something. So we could say void pop and we have some conditions. So the first condition for the pop is that if it's empty so we have a, we have an is empty function right so we just use that is empty function so the is empty function is on the top which is actually right here so if a top is equal to minus one return true else return false so if it, if the thing is empty right we could just return out um stack is empty right so stack is already empty what do you want to pop that's that's the thing so that's that's with that else what we could do is pop and how we could pop sorry about that how we could pop is using the top and we just to minus minus so this is just gonna basically decrement the top which is uh which is gradually going like on the fourth just go to the third then go to the two then go to one then go to minus one once it reaches minus one you see that is empty appears and the stack is empty so that's pop here now let's go to the next function one of the functions that we want to do is the show top how do we show that what's on the top so we can say void show underscore top put that in something inside of this which we have to add so the show top is going to check first of all if it's empty so e m p t y if it's empty right so the function is is empty so is empty and we're gonna put that in here and what's happening here is that if it's empty we'll just say console output um, the stack is empty there you go and then if it's not empty what we want to do is we want to show the top why am i keep on doing that i hate the code linting all right so what we want to do here is we want to show what's on the top so we can say console output we could have this array so which is array we could have the top and it's going to show us what's on the content so that's just basically going to show what's on the top but let's have some text written over here so just to make it a little more beautiful to see better to understand uh content or we'll say element um 
on the top. There you go. So that's element on the top and we're done with that function. Let's create one more function for this stack. So let's create one which is gonna show us the content. So we'll just say void display stack. So display S-T-A-C-K. Now the stack is gonna be displayed. So first condition if it's empty. So if it is empty, so we could just have that. And if, that, if that's the case, we could just say L, um, stack is empty. And uh, the other portion here is that if it's not empty, so else, if it's not empty, so else, um, we could just iterate through the stack using a for loop. So we could say for int i is equal to zero, um, i is less than, now we could just see that top is the portion, so the top is gonna be over here. And then we could say i plus plus, and then we could just console output the values. So we could say array sub i, and then we have n line. I'm just gonna keep on, uh, imp showing the contents here. So after running this code, let's just uh, write something in the main function. Let's create a stack. So how we, it's, uh, the thing is that the stack is already created, which is on the top, it's an array, and it's a size of five. It's limited, constrained to just a five size. So let's just push stuff into the stack. So we use push, and we just push stuff inside. So let's say 200, first element, push uh, 300 as the second element. Now you can see that the stack is growing and the thing on the top is 300 because it's the most recent one. Then we can just say um, push, let's say another one, say 500. So now it's the most recent, which is 500 at the top and 200 is on the bottom pit. Now, if we want to check the top, we could use, um, is uh, let's see, what which, fu which function is it? Show top. So we could just say show underscore top um, and yeah, so we could show top and we can just do that, it's gonna show us the top. If we wanna see the contents, we can just say this one, display stack. So we can just say display stack, and it's gonna display us the contents of the stack. And we could also have this other function, which was pop and the push and is, is empty. These are all gonna work. So let's go and run this code. So we're gonna say G++, and then we're gonna say array stacks. So that's it, run the code. Okay, we got a lot of errors. Okay, the first error we got was uh, expected initializer before int. So we have int top minus one stack is empty. So we have an expected initializer before int. Sounds interesting. Let's see line number four. We're just gonna go from the first error to the last one. So let's see, the first one is four, which is over here, int top minus one stack is empty. So there is an initializer problem here. So how do we fix this issue? Oh yeah, there you go. There's no semicolon right here so let me just save this now and uh, let's see very basic mistake i've done i think that's the root of all the problems let me just see okay now there's one more issue that there's on the line 21 and line 22 it says, it says expected semicolon before uh this braces or token so it's if top is equal to size minus one so if zero is equal to four, there's a semicolon issue or something, some semicolon issue on line number 21. So let's just see, line number 21. Oh, okay, so I forgot to comment this portion here. So let's go back here. Thank you for telling me compiler. Now, it's compiled, awesome. Let's run this using the A. Okay, so we have element on the top, which is 500, correct. And then we have the content, which is 200, then 300, and then 500, awesome. This was stacks in arrays. So basically we created a stack using our arrays. And it was pretty easy, pretty simple. It was an abstract data type and we use arrays to do this. We had some problems like the size is limited and it does create problems here. So there are solutions to this and that is basically using a linked stack. And we could do that in the future video. If you like this video, like it. Thank you and keep supporting Coding Cleverly. Peace out.